Welcome to the section 4 of our course, Docker Registry. In this section, we are going to take a look at Docker Registry. Section 4.1. What is Docker Registry? In this video, we are going to take a look at what is Docker Registry, why do we need to use a Docker Registry, and do I have an alternative? What is a Docker Registry? The Registry is a stateless, highly scalable server-side application that stores and lets you distribute Docker images. In other words, Docker Registry is a repository where you can store all the versions that your image has. This is the basic foundation. And uh, why do we need a Docker Registry? So you need to tightly control where your images are being stored, fully own your image distribution pipeline, integrate image storage and distribution tightly into your in-house development workflow. So you can automate it, your whole process in your other words. But you have to keep in mind that Docker Registry is a software that you can host in-house. It means in your own infrastructure. But imagine that you have to plan capacity when as soon as you start to run, you should have backups. And most of the people doesn't want to have this kind of work. And uh, Docker also provides one alternative if you are not willing to do that yourself. So Docker has a Docker Hub. In the Docker Hub, as you can see, this is my private, my public Docker Hub. So you can store many images. If it's public, you can have as many images as you want to. So in my case, I have these five images. But if you are a private, you can get more, for example. And then you have some plans here. So if you have five repositories, you will pay seven a month. So then it depends on how your company is and how you are willing to do that. So you can host your, you can have your repositories on Docker Hub. Consider that you are not willing to, to keep on your infrastructure. And now Docker release a new page. It's called a Docker Storm. And maybe you ask it yourself during the course till now, where Alberto get all these images that we are using? Where I get the WordPress, where I get the MySQL, where I get the Nginx Alpine that we use it all the time, and even the Alpine itself. So you can find all this information here. So let's check our Nginx. As soon as I type Nginx, I will find here the official Nginx. And here on the description, you will find all the tags available. So we were using Nginx and the Alpine tag. So the Alpine tag is using the 1.13.1. And here you have some references. You have an explanation of what is Nginx. And the most important part, how to use this image. So you can find all this information here. Let's check, for example, now. Golang. Few images has some characteristics. So you can have images for Linux, you can have images for Windows. So Golang is one of these images. And as you can see here on the corner, you have the option to use Linux or you have the option to use Windows. So you have a different URL to pull. As well, you have the whole tags and you have references. You have what is Go, how to use the image, and all these informations that are important for you when you are using a new image. Don't worry. In the next section, we are going to discuss about Docker images, and then we are going to learn how to build our own.